Welcome back to another video. We are going to be getting right into a new update that just hit the game today and we're going to be checking it out in this video. Before I do that though, I did want to mention that the whole cat thing that's going on in the social district and with the, the well this, this Aria thing, if you talk to Aria right here, uh, you're going to have this stuff right here. Well this kitten caboodle stuff, this is all going to be moved into the pet shop so that's still going to be accessible of course that's going to be accessible right there for now but this this whole her she's going to disappear go back to the pet shop but kitten caboodle that'll still be available the social district thing however these cats are going to be chased away by the national dog thing and i believe that's coming next week so these things will be disappearing next week so make sure you get all the drops you've been wanting and whatever else you've been wanting to do in the social district I also want to mention if you haven't done anything in the pointless aisle, you're going to want to make sure to do that as well because that's going to be ending at the end of August. We are going to be heading over here because we have a new NPC. There they are, right over here. A new NPC in town, Lore Master Hazel. And she just says, lovely to meet you. Please meet me inside. Ooh, and this is the first time we get to go in this building. This map might look familiar because this is identical to the one in, um, where is that? In Bogue's Tavern. So this is like identical. You got some things you can, can't interact. Oh, I'm in travel form. Let's see. Oh, you can sit on that. What do you do there? Sit on the end of the bed. Sit on the end of, oh, lay down. <gasps> no way. I didn't think you could lay down in the game. I think this is the first time you can lay down in the game. I am pretty darn sure this is the first bed that allows you to lay, the first thing that allows you, if I am wrong about that, please correct me in the chat, in the comments, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time you could do that. That is freaking awesome. You'll be able to lay down in bed now, unless it's already been a thing and I just didn't know it, but I don't know. I don't think so. Got some cats running around right there. All right, we're going to talk to uh, this person right here. This is the new quest, the Cosmic Remnant. And you have the Cosmic Remnant right there. So, first of all, we have a new pet. Now, this costs 1,500 Dragon Crystals. This is a quest pet. This is what it looks like right here. This is very awesome. Look, I, I love this thing. Let's see what this looks like. There you go. That is pretty neat. Not, there's definitely some sets that would go really good with that. And then you have the Awakened one right here. Cosmo. Oh, I see. Okay. Slightly enhanced visual aura type of thing. So that's pretty cool. And then we've got the quest right here. Before we get to that, while on the travels, I mistakenly disturbed this cosmic companion. It seems to be able to communicate with me across lore. So it may be helpful. And this is in reference, of course, to the pet that I just bought. Unearthing it. Let's go. I first discovered clues about this cosmic being while traveling, traversing the chaotic realm was found in the random dungeons. Ooh, it was difficult to make sense of the information, but I believe I almost have enough to figure out where to start. Will you help? Oh, will you return to that realm and help me gather the rest of the information? So then we're going to be heading into the random dungeons. You need to find energies and then defeat bosses. Let's go and do that doing that is pretty easy because all you got to do is interact with the adventures menu and then go down to random dungeons and jump right in there these are two man dungeons as far as i'm aware in the boss room you're going to be finding things like right here you've got these little glowy things and this is where the energies are so you can keep an eye out for those in the dungeon i believe they're closer to the bosses because i didn't see these anywhere else when i get to this area this is where i discovered these things there was two different ones in this dungeon and they're probably in every random dungeon i guess i can leave but i can just you don't even really need to leave the dungeon that way you can literally just jump right back in using your travel menu Oh, sorry, not the travel menu, using the adventures menu. Make sure to grab your battle gem shards and your battle gems that you get in the dungeon because you don't want to forget those. There's one of those energy things right here on the ground. And there we go. Finally beat Discovery. Got the 10 I needed. Didn't take too long to do it. So it says 
relieved to see you're returned unharmed. Let's continue our research. So that's what we're going to do next. These clues seem to identicate, indicate sorry, that this is being stumbled into a realm of darkness. It seems they traveled to a lush forest and suddenly found themselves surrounded by shadows. Have you come across anything like that in your adventures? And then it mentions dispersing shadows, touching the unraveled shadows, and defeating the beast in the shadow. So we need to figure out exactly where that is. And it says Lush Forest. I I would be thinking Heartwood, as it does have a Lush... It is a Lush Forest. However, it, it could also be referring to Shadow Guard. I'm going to try Shadow Guard first simply because it mentions shadows and I'm trying to think of what boss it would be. The only boss I can think of in relation to a lush forest, which could be Green Guard, and the boss is that big giant tree boss that is in here. Also does mention shadows here. We've got Shadow Zards, Shadow Seers. So, okay, so it's not them and it's not... Oh, is it that? I didn't know there was a shadow fragment takes you to a different location. Maybe it's in this location. Shadowed Gazer. These are like higher level stuff. Scaled. Oh, it's inside the... Okay. Okay. Wow. Clever. Because I didn't know that was... Either that wasn't there before or I just don't remember what that was for. Quests like this are not supposed to hold your hand. They are supposed to be quests that you need to kind of figure out where to go. And that's kind of what I like about it because you got to use your noggin to figure out quests like this. There's the beast in the shadow. Okay. Wow, he looks so cool. Look at that werewolf. I don't know if I've ever seen him before because I don't remember this area. So just need to do one more and then we've got it down there we go got the 20 out of 20 need to touch unraveled shadows and it's oh it is things you need to okay i wasn't paying attention to holy crap balls i'm dead ah so there you go you need to touch these things And it will tell you where they are once you've done the first parts of those quests. Ah, there we go. All right, the next one. In the Greenguard Forest, I may have sent a letter to Robina and catch up with her. While you were away, I, re I completed the research on this strange object that I had discovered. It seems to be some sort of thread. And there, you get a cosmic thread right there turn that in and then you can you'll you're going to get this as a reward and you can recreate the garb let's see if we can find the correct arrangement for these threads take this pattern from my notes and put it together with all the information you've gathered i guess i have to go back to the girl it was in the research thing okay there we go it takes an entire day to craft this Woo. well i have no time for that so i'm just going to speed it up for the sake of the video and there we go. Recreate the garb. Bam. Done. And now you've got a access to a new quest. New quest. Uh, looks like this is a daily. Yeah, you got a daily here. Defeat enemies in Cosmic Shadow Guard. 20. Defeat the boss. Two times. Defeat bosses in the random dungeon. Five times. You can get 250 Cosmic Garment Thread. And... Then from doing this one, it says, as long as you are attuned to this task, you may continue to discover garment threads while in these realms. Return to the Cosmic Shadow Guard or the random dungeons to see what you can find. And then this is what you need, Frayed Guardians. This is a repeatable, and you can just do this repeatedly. So there you go. And if you have the pet, it makes it a little bit easier because you can just turn it in right there but it's not a necessity this is just a small bonus to have this quest pet because you don't need to return to her even though i did to check on where i what i was missing <laughs> but yeah so that's that is how you get the cosmic remnant now if you're wondering why the remnant thing only has just the armor and nothing else that is because the pieces of this armor set will be 
slowly coming out every week. I think they said every week that it will be slowly coming. So we'll get more and more pieces of the cosmic garment outfit stuff. So you'll want to make sure to stay up to date with your dailies and stuff to make sure you have what's needed. I'm not sure if there's going to be quests beyond that to unlock these stuff or if it's just going to be stuff added to the shop. I'm not sure. But anyways, more things will be coming in regards to the cosmic stuff. So that's going to be pretty cool. Looking forward to it. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.